everyone in in this series i will be discussing on gate 2021 textiles question so uh, first 2025 questions will be of one mark question and then thereafter it would be of two mark questions so starting in one mark question very first question this question says the gummy substance present in the raw silk is option a that is given is serine d fibroin c keratin and d that is sericin so what is the correct answer so if you know ki what is the then the correct option is sericin so what sericin is sericin is a protein that is caused by silkworm which type of silkworm exactly the silkworm name is bombyx mori in the production of the silk and these silk filaments are helped held together by the a gummy substance that is known as sericin and sericin is also uh, known as the silk gum on the silk gum so the gummy substance that is present in silk fiber is option d sericin so option d is the right answer now coming to the next question so this question says the technique used for producing viscous rayon is melt spinning wet spinning dry spinning and last one is dry jet wet spinning so if you know what these different machine uh, spinning methods are and then you can distinguish which technique is used for which uh, fibers so if we talk about melt spinning the melt spinning is generally used for filament and staple type of fibers and whereas dry spinning is used for only filament and wet spinning can be used for both these filaments we, uh, if we talk about the spinning speed of uh, everything then the spinning speed of melt spinning is around 2500 to 3000 and it is similar whereas wet spinning the spinning speed is comparatively slow so if we talk about melt spinning it is used for the production of polyester generally synthetic polyester nylon olefin nylon olefin uh, and glass fibers so uh, these melt spinning is used for these processes and if we talk about a wet spinning process so wet spinning process is used for the production of uh, aramid fibers and pvc if we talk about viscous rayon is also produced by this wet spinning process spandex acrylic mod acrylic these types of fibers can be produced by wet spinning method and if we talk about dry spinning method then dry spinning is used for production of acetate triacetate uh, and some other type of acrylic uh, and mod acrylic or spandex kind of fibers so the basically these are used for acetate and triacetate so our question says um, the technique used for produce, producing viscous fiber so vis viscous fiber is produced by wet spinning process so option b is the correct answer so looking forward to the next question so it is also a one mark question it is an nat type of question that says assuming the atomic mass of hydrogen to be 1 carbon 12 nitrogen 14 oxygen 16 the molecular mass of a repeat unit of nylon 6 fiber is so these are all one mark NAT question, NAT type of question, numerical type. So generally one mark numerical type of questions that are asked in TF textiles are comparatively sim very simple and straightforward formula based questions. So you just need to clear with the basics part and you can answer these questions very easily. So in this question, if you know what is the formula for nylon 6 repeat fiber, then you can simply calculate the atomic mass thereafter you can uh, find the answer as well the molecular mass of a repeat unit so what is the formula for nylon 6 nylon 6 fiber is generally produced from caprolactam and uh, whereas nylon 6 6 is produced from adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine uh, so uh, caprolactam is used as a uh, raw material for nylon 6 fiber so coming to the repeat unit of nylon 6 fiber so the formula for nylon 6 is ch2 ki power 5 co here nh so this is the basic repeat unit of nylon 6 
just uh, you should know what is the repeat unit now you can easily answer this question now how to find that see uh, how many carbon elements to c ki power 5 c6 c6 hydrogen 10 11 h11 and if we talk about uh, 10 11 if we talk about oxygen then oxygen is o and uh, if we talk about nitrogen then n so this is a structure so if we calculate it directly then we can say that for nh it is 14 plus 1 plus ch2 is 12 plus 2 14 ch2 the weight of ch2 is 40 not 40 it is 14 at us ch2 12 plus 2 14 so 14 plus uh, 14 into 5 plus 14 into 5 Plus C O C is twelve and O is sixteen. So twelve plus sixteen it is twelve plus sixteen. So if you calculate fifteen plus seventy plus twelve plus sixteen, if you add all of these values, then it comes out to be one one three. So one one three becomes the repeat unit molecular mass of the repeat unit of nylon six fiber. So one one three is the answer. i think you have understood uh, uh, this is very simple part just you need to know ki what is the uh, repeat what is the formula of structure for nylon 6 you also should focus on what is the um, repeat unit of pvc and nylon 6 also nylon 66 and uh, polyester and so these synthetic fibers uh, structure you should also know because uh, every year they ask questions related to these types of questions now coming to the next question now this question is of assertion and reason type it says determine the correctness or otherwise of the following assertion and reason uh, one assertion and second one is reason is given and you have to find out if the assertion and reason both are correct and if it is the correct reason if r is the correct reason for a or not so uh, reading first assertion it is said that draw texturing of isotactic polypropylene at relatively high speed is possible despite high crystallinity of the feeder yarn i think it is correct option we will explain it further and now looking at the reason reason isotactic polypropylene has majorly symmetric mesomeric face these both options are correct options so if you uh, have read about polypropylene and the texturing process so polypropylene is relatively much easier to spin compared to nylon and polyester if you happen to see any of these spinning units such as the rate of crystallization if you look at these three fibers from the melt polyester is slowest because of the aromatic structure the rate of crystallization is very slow but the rate of uh, but if we talk about both nylon 666 and uh, polypropylene which is of course an isotactic polypropylene it is a textile grade material the uh, the rate of crystallization of isotactic polypropylene is very high if you remember uh, we have uh, uh, said that the crystallinity uh, also is very high for a fully drawn material polypropylene because the chain folding takes place very easily in this case so if you look at the stress strain behavior of polypropylene so this residual draw ratio reduced and then finally you can get this material as far as if you want to flat the yarn to be so uh, if uh, it is said similarly in this uh, reason that isot polypropylene has major symmetric mesomeric face and it is relatively easier to draw this kind of thing so both the assertion and the reason are true in this case i think 
you must have understood the concept and uh, for this uh, in if you want to learn in brief so just look at the draw texturing what is draw texturing process and how it is different for uh, different types of fibers and what are the difference between fully drawn yarn uh, partially drawn yarn partially oriented yarns and uh, fully oriented yarns so uh, you will understand the difference between all these things so for this the assertion and reason both are true and a reason is the correct and r is the correct reason for assertion so option a is the correct option now coming to the next question so this is a two mark match the following type of question in this type of questions group 1 and group 2 are given and you have to match the correct options depending upon the similar properties of uh, uh, in this type it is uh, different fibers that are given and you have to and in group 2 it is uh, near applications based upon the specific fiber and you have to match the application of the given fibers so uh, it is said that match the fiber with its applications so the option 1 uh, group 1 it is polypropylene kevlar nylon 66 and nomex so these are the four options given and here in the group 2 their applications are used as mountaineering group rope firefighter suit bullet proof jacket and geotextiles so if you know that for kevlar so if we talk about kevlar so kevlar is an aramid fiber and it is very strong and lightweight and uh, talking about the application why in which applications uh, kevlar is used so kevlar is used in aerospace engineering body armor bullet proof vest etc so bullet proof vest kevlar is used in bullet proof uh, vest so option for q it is 3 one by one we will use and talking about nomex whereas kevlar and nomex are aramid fibers these are meta aramid and uh, para aramid fibers kind of um, things so if we talk about nomex nomex is used in electrical laminates such as circuit boards and also it is used in fire proof structures so uh, nomex is used in firefighter suit so for s it is 2 and if you talk about nylon 66 so nylon 66 is basically formed by the condensation reaction and uh, is basically used in ropes mountaineering ropes because of its high strength value so for r it is 1 and polypropylene is uh, used in geotextiles so you have simply matched all these things so p ka 4 p4 P4 is in two options. Q3, Q3 is only in B part. So B is the correct option, and for R it is one, and S it is two. So this uh, option B is the correct option. I think you must have understood by now how to match their applications. So uh, individual fibers along with their applications are very important for gate point of view. So now coming to the next question. Molecular weight of a polymer is determined from Mark-Hoving equation using the coefficient k is 11.5 into 10 ki power minus 3 milligram milliliter per per gram and exponent a is 0.73. If the measured intrinsic viscosity nita of the solution is 6 into 10 ki power 2 milliliter per gram, then the value of m into 10 ki power 6 rounded off to two decimal places is so we have to use mark hoving's equation in this uh, question if you have read about uh, mark hoving's equation then the mark hoving's equation says that nita is equal to k m ki par n this is mark hoving's equation so nita is equal to k m ki par n so if we write the units that are given as nita is viscosity is given as 6 into 10 ki par 2 milliliter per gram and k is said to be 11.5 into 10 ki par minus 3 milliliter per gram into m ki par 
एम इज नॉट गिवेन एम की पावर ए हेयर ए इज एन इज द एक्सपोनेंट एंड इन दिस केस इट इज द एक्सपोनेंट इज ए सो इट इज ए वी कैन राइट ए और एन दिस इज एक्सपोनेंट सो एम ए की पावर ए इज सेट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट सेवन थ्री if we write this so this got this to this got cancelled and what we are left with is m ki power 0.73 this divide this will come and divide m ki power 0.73 is equal to uh 10 upon 10 ki power minus 3 it will come to the denominator then it will become 10 ki power 5 so it will come out to be 6 into 10 ki power 5 upon 11.5 if we to if we take uh, ln both sides so taking log both sides log ki log to the base e both sides taking ln both sides it will become 0.73 ln m and this will become ln 6 into 10 ki power 5 upon 11.5 and now solving ahead so if we solve this uh, then it will 0.73 ln m 0.73 ln m if we solve this ln 6 into 10 ki power ln is basically log to the base e so if we solve this then it will come out to be around 10.86 and so what is the value of m it will be 11.86 upon 0.73 so ln m will come out to be 14.87 and m will be equals to because ln is basically log to the base e so uh, we can write log to the base e when it is written as m then e ki power this it will become so it will be e ki power 11 14.87 so when we solve this e ki power e is exponent 2.71 the value of e uh, you can write this easily using the gate calculator that is given in your examination uh, gate calculator so you can use uh, you can do this with the help of the gate calculator and when you will solve this it will come out to be 2.87 into 10 ki power 6 and uh, 10 की पार माइनस सिक्स सो द एम वैल्यू ऑफ एम इंटू टेन की पावर माइनस सिक्स द वैल्यू ऑफ एम इंटू टेन की पावर सिक्स इट इज एम इंटू टेन की पावर सिक्स सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस देन इट विल कम आउट टू बी m into 10 ki power 6 and uh, when we will solve this to so m into 10 ki power minus 6 will come out to be 2.87 and uh, 10 into 10 ki power 8 the value of m into 10 ki power minus 6 is asked in this question so the answer will become 2.87 and in two decimal places you have to answer so the answer will be 2.87 is the correct answer I think it is clear to you. It was not a very typical question, but uh, you need to be understood. You need to understand what is Mach-Hoving's equation, and you have to solve this using the logarithmic equation, so on and so forth. So I think it is clear to you. Now coming to the next question.